just precious creatures that that can't do any wrong or that are just so delicate and come on cut the shit women do crazy shit just like men do men do crazy stuff women do crazy stuff women lie men lie women cheat men cheat what up youtube i am dom knight this is night talks and we are back with another burning question last week we did something different and we're gonna roll with that same kind of script today all right before we get into it like the video subscribe to the channel trying to get 125 subs by july goal of some size my eyes on the prize help me out thank you all the new subs all right what's the question of the day <laughs> this is a good one guys are you a simp yes a simp Simp, we've been hearing a lot about that lately, right? We've been hearing a lot about simping. It's a, it's a whole culture now, all right? So we're not gonna do education, just like last week. I'm gonna define a simp for you though, okay? Now the dictionary definition of a simp is a silly or a foolish person, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the new version of a simp. So I went on Urban Dictionary and this one's a little bit better, okay? Someone who does way too much for someone they like. All right, now, why are we talking about this? Simping has been a big word thrown around in social media and on YouTube and things like that, but it's a real thing. And simping is nothing new. Simping's been going on for a long time, all right? Uh, simps, and my personal definition are guys that just don't really know how to pull women. In short, they don't, all right? And so they overdo everything and they play the nice guy role and it never works out for them usually. They either get friend zoned it like we talked about last week or they freaking don't get the girl anyway, but they didn't tricked on her all crazy and now they mad, but you should have known, all right? And, and when it comes to simping, a lot of guys, they're putting a lot of time, energy, money, effort into women that just may not be worth it, all right? And I'll let your imagination run wild with that, okay? So why do men simp? Well, men simp, I'm going to say it in my own opinion, of course, movies, TV shows, books, these romance stories you hear where these guys do all these nice guy acts all the time and they get the girl and it always works out and yada 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 it's a bunch of bullshit all right that hallmark crap you be watching that is, that is not how real life is okay the guys that do this stuff in real life they get friend zone they are considered nice guys the girls don't want them they're underconfident they have nothing going for them some of them may have money but they still might just be a beta male provider type but that's what it is and in these movies and these tv shows they make these guys look freaking foolish they look like idiots running around doing stupid stuff and the woman's always super smart and always just so great and the guy's just an idiot and he's so lucky to have her attention come on now now why is this bad why is this a problem well the problem is these guys are just giving some of these women too much validation and there's nothing wrong with complimenting a woman there's nothing wrong with being nice to a woman but with this only fans culture and instagram culture these guys are just giving their money and they're thinking these women are actually interested in them and it's becoming a huge problem because women now are just a little overconfident and every woman thinks that they deserve the top tier guy top 10 percent top earning best looking longest thing you know all that they they want it all okay but guess what you attract what you are okay not every woman deserves a top tier guy and not every guy deserves a top tier woman and yes there is tears when it comes to people and you can say I'm wrong. You can say I'm an ass. You can say I'm a jerk, whatever. All right. There is levels to this. That's why there are social classes. Okay. That is life. And it's been like that since the beginning of time. And it will always be like that. All right. So it's becoming a problem 
because it's making it harder for us to understand each other when these guys are putting these women on a pedestal especially the ones who don't deserve it so every woman thinks they deserve the world and it leaves the average man out fending for himself okay so let's get into the real thing of this i came up with this stuff myself only research I did was the definitions, all right? So this is what I got for you. These are the signs that you are a simp, and there are five of them, okay? And we're gonna jump right into them. Number one, paying for a woman's time, love, and affection. Simps, and people who have simped, y'all know, when you're spending that money, and you're doing everything for her, and she ain't giving you no play, you are simp. For you, Mrs. Puff. Oh, flowers. Oh, how thoughtful. And here's a box of chocolates. SpongeBob, where's the chocolates? Mr. Krabs, the box doesn't allow for SpongeBob. You can't go to Mrs. Puff's house without chocolates. If she ain't sleeping with you, and you spending money on her and tricking, you are a simp. All right. I'm sorry. You should not be spending money on women that you aren't getting something out of the deal on, right? When you go to the store, unless you're stealing something, you tend to get your money's worth, right? When you make a purchase, you want the best outcome with that purchase. That means you're giving your hard earned dollar for something that's worth that hard earned dollar. If you are buying and spending on a chick and you don't get no sex, she allows you to take her out and you paying for everything. Bruh, you are simping. Number two, putting females or a female before yourself. Gentlemen, when you make a woman your priority, she is going to run away from you or walk all over you. It is that simple. Your priority should not be a woman. Okay, your priority should be your purpose. You should be focusing on your business, on moving up in your job, going to school so you can get further in your job, you know, following your dreams and your passions. Whatever it is, you should be putting 100% into that. Women will follow, they will. But if you're out chasing women and spending money, you are wasting time, okay? Number three. Thinking the only way to get girls is to be overly nice or to spend money. Men, young men, gentlemen, you do not need to spend money to get attention, affection, or sex from a woman, okay? You need to make yourself the version of yourself where you yourself are the selling point, not what your resources are, all right? When you have to spend money or you have to put a woman on a pedestal and just be so nice and compliment her all the time and just make her feel like the queen, she is not gonna respect you, dog. <laughs> Let me get this straight. He actually took your car in for detailing? <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? The guy's a bigger sap than I ever could have imagined. I feel kind of bad for him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> not. She's not. Now, if you're in a relationship, you're married, yes, compliment your partner. Yes, you can spend money on them. I'm not saying go crazy, but you can do that stuff. That's okay. Not on some girl that you get nothing out of the deal on, all right? All they're gonna see that is weakness, not gonna respect you. You damn sure ain't gonna get no sex or relationship out of it, all right? Number four. They have a problem with men voicing their issues about women. A lot of simpy dudes be playing the, I'm a F in this card. You know, I'm not gonna say the word or I'm this or I'm that or women are to just be these, these just precious creatures that, that can't do any wrong or that are just so delicate and come on, cut the shit. Women do crazy shit just like men do. Men do crazy stuff, women do crazy stuff. Women lie, men lie, women cheat, men cheat, okay? Now, when you're in the locker room and you hear a dude talking about how he don't like this girl, that girl, that's locker room talk, that's boy talk. Don't be standing up telling him, oh, you need to do this to respect her. 
You don't know what he went through with her. Let him say what he got to say. Because guess what? In the female locker room, they are talking about you and ain't nobody stopping her. All right? Number five, you are constantly getting curved or, you know, they always taking a rain check on you. Bruh, if you're trying to set up time with a girl, set up a date with a girl, and she don't want nothing to do with you, she keeps canceling, she keeps flaking, she's curving you, bro, you're playing that simp role. You give a woman two shots. You set up the date, you set up the hangout, she cancels one, something came up, all right, fine. Something really could have came up. You set it up again, she does it again, she's cut, move on. Don't keep trying, cause she's gonna know you're desperate, bro, and you're falling into that simpy category where you do not want to be, all right? Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm king and I know everything. I know some things, but why? Because I've been through some things, a life experience, all right? My first love, okay, my first love, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. When I was in eighth grade, all right, I liked a girl, I'm not gonna use no names liked her a lot was simping out now i'm a little bit older so you know we had cell phones and stuff but i would write notes i'll write notes to this girl and i would do all this and i was trying you know i was trying was being super nice super sweet over complimenting this girl she was a great girl she was cool and i was just doing the most being mr simp daddy all right i wasn't a pimp daddy i was simp daddy i wanted this girl bad all right, we had a lot in common. I thought she was pretty and, you know, it was all that. So, what happens? I go hang out with one of my boys. We're out in Tinley Park riding skateboards. And said, we we're talking. And he said, Dom, you need to just ask her out, bro. Quit playing. And he was right. I was playing too long. Trying to make this perfect and be Mr. Movie Romance. Stupid stuff. Dumb sipping to the max all right so i called the girl i called her all right it was a saturday i called her she answered the phone she said hey dom i said hey her name will you be my girlfriend and she said dom i don't know i said what bruh this chick had been telling me she liked me. We've been talking on the phone every night. We didn't hung out all the whole nine, bro. I've been being nice guy supreme. And I'm like, what? She's like, I don't know. I got to think about it. And I'm like, what? So I said, all right, well, I'm hanging with my boy. I'll talk to you later. Hung up the phone. He saw the look on my face and was like, bruh. Did she say no? I was like, she said, I don't know. And bro, it ruined my day. I was at Crush Skate Park, Indoor Park, Fun Park. You know, I grew up riding skateboards. I was just all over athletic. But it ruined, it ruined the rest of my, my, my trip, man. And, you know, you had to pay to get in. You had to sign waivers and all that. And it just ruined the rest of my trip. But I still wrote it out. And guess what I did? I continued to simp. I kept simping after she told me no. I kept simping. I kept calling her. We kept talking all that. All that weekend, all right? So Monday, come to find out. What do I find out? This woman was dating somebody. Had no clue she was talking to somebody else. No clue. Thinking I'm the only one. Oh, I'm so dope, right? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, got a hard dose of reality at a young age. Dating a boyfriend. I'm asking why, 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 why? Mr. Simp, why? She said, Dom, he asked me first. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I continued to simp. Yep, continued to simp. So, I got the girl in the end though. She wasn't really feeling him like that, but she kept talking to me and prioritizing me over him. So I just kept playing the simp game. I got her eventually. We had a great relationship. 
learned a lot. My first love, my first everything. So with that though, I should have known better, but I was young. As soon as she said no, or I don't know, I should have moved on, especially with the amount of courting I put in. Gentlemen, don't be this guy. Don't be eighth grade me when you're 18, when you're 20, when you're 22, 25. Definitely shouldn't be doing this in your mid 20s. Learn from your mistakes, okay? Now, I had a good relationship there, and I told y'all the story in the last video about the girl I liked after her and I broke up, continued to simp. So guys, this stuff doesn't change overnight. Now, yeah, I, I had a young brain back then, you know, and I didn't have this kind of content to help me with this stuff. This is stuff I had to learn on my own. So with that, yeah, I had a, a little bit longer time of simping. I actually, you know, simping went on for a little bit, you know, probably until I was 16. So guys, don't be dom in eighth grade. Don't be dom in ninth grade. Do not simp, okay? Yeah, it might have worked out and, and, and I learned a lot from it, but don't be that guy, okay? So how do you change this? How do you change your situation if you're in the simp category? Well, I got six reasons how you can change your simpy ways, all right? Number one, focus on you. You, you, you. While you, no one else, you come first. Your needs come first, your wants come first, your goals come first. Do not put any person, male or female, friend, family, nobody goes before you. Because when you're taking care of you, then you can take care of other people, all right? Prioritize your needs. It's okay to do something nice for somebody. It's okay to help somebody. But if it's going to hinder or tie you up, don't do it. Number two, find your purpose and hit the gas on that. Figure out what you're put on this earth to do. Figure out what makes you happy. Follow your dreams. Chase your goals. Be your own man. Okay? Work hard at that every day. Figure out what you love in life. Make it your passion make it what you do and you'll feel good and it's gonna take time it's gonna take a long time to get there it took me a long time to figure out what it was i actually wanted to do i had a, I had a whole host of things that i love to do that i thought i could make this or thought i could make that I, I, so many things and you know maybe i'll get into that in a future video of some of the adventures i've been through but so many things i've tried a lot of stuff all right and met a lot of people along the way and learned a lot of things that ultimately landed me to where I'm at right now, okay? And I'm gonna work every day to make what I want happen. And that's what you gotta do too, gentlemen, because me focusing on this stuff that I love to do, it's got my mind in the best space it's ever been in, all right? Number three, I, I had to learn this myself, all right? Now, not really, on one thing but on the other calm down checking out these girls on instagram and definitely don't be on only fans find this stuff guys this content what i've learned over the years you know we're men we're gonna do what we gotta do to release don't spend money on this crap all right you know some websites you can go on and watch stuff and handle your business real quick and do what you gotta do all right i get that okay don't be on OnlyFans tricking on these chicks. Don't do it. It ain't worth your money. You should be taking your money and spending it and saving it into your business, into your passions, into your dreams, your goals, something you you want in life. You know, even if you it's a purchase, you want a new car, a PS5, save that OnlyFans money for that. Whatever. All right. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to knock any of the ladies who do it. I made a whole video about OnlyFans cool go for it even though it's changing and i'm gonna do a reaction uh, about that next week but this stuff is rotting your brain gentlemen and the validation thing is the problem here when you're on instagram if you want to look at them look at them don't be putting the crazy stuff in the comments and throwing them your money and doing this crazy stuff look at the girls it's fine i get it gentlemen look at them but resist on leaving a crazy comment you know what i mean 
but the less you look at that stuff the more your mind's going to be focused on the right stuff since i've started doing what i love i'm never really on social media unless it's for what i'm doing that's it i don't look at girls on there no more not at all like when i get on instagram it's about business you know what i mean if i get on facebook it's about business it is it's tools i'm using to help build my dream gentlemen take it from a dude who used to look at all this kind of stuff not only fans but instagram man i'll look at all kinds of girls all the time yeah i'll admit that i don't even look at them no more I don't, I don't even look at my feed really anymore. I'll see a couple things here and there. People send me stuff, but that's it. Social media, it can rot your brain, gentlemen. And I think we all know that, all right? Number four, this is super important. Improve your confidence. I talked about this last week. I'm gonna be talking about this next week. I'm gonna be talking about this the week after that. I will be talking about this until I die because having confidence is always gonna be important and that's not just with women. That's in life, business. You will get further if your confidence is there, all right? When you're dealing with people, people will respect you more when they see that confidence is there. People can see weakness, especially women, okay? They know when you're weak. They know when you're not confident. They know when you think you are less than them okay and how do you improve your confidence take care of your body make sure your hygiene is right make sure your groom is good okay make sure you got a cool hairstyle make sure you're dressing nice a style that fits you but looks good on you okay make sure you're smelling right when you walk ignore the people around you focus on what you're doing people will notice that all right you'll notice everybody in the room but you're focused on you and so will they all right you gotta be the best version of yourself you are selling yourself at all times throughout each day of the week whenever you speak to someone new whenever you even when you're talking to your current girl you are selling yourself all right you need to be top shelf okay you don't want to be vladimir okay you want to be least kettle one all right now number five educate yourself on female nature and what I mean by female nature because everyone has a different definition of female nature what I mean by female nature is literally on what women respond to okay how they act in the wild don't focus on what you hear focus on what you see all right women do a lot of things they show us a lot of signs and the things that they do they give us a lot of clues to cracking the code no man will ever have the full code cracker but it's helping us chip away at it all right women are complex creatures people are complex creatures but women's minds typically ran on their emotions so it's hard to always understand them women can be very unpredictable but the better and the more you know about them, the better you will be with them, okay? It will keep you from simping. All right, last, but definitely not least, believe that you are the prize. Men, I'm not saying go around with a crown on your head thinking you're better than every female that you encounter, but you need to believe you are worth every bit of a female's attention you need to believe that you are worth every bit of anyone's time who approaches you at any point in the day all right you need to be a man believe you are worth something know you are worth something all right and any woman will be lucky to have you and any dude will be lucky to have you as one of his boys you need to believe that and you need to own that shit. all right gentlemen we got to be the best versions of ourselves. That's why we're working hard every day to improve our finances. That's why we're working hard every day in the gym to improve our bodies and our health. That's why we're eating the right foods. That's why we're reading the right books and articles. That's why we're watching the right YouTube videos. You want to be 
someone who knows how to get through life without depending on anyone else all right so with all that said that will teach you how not to be a simp and if any of that stuff i said earlier hit any bells in your head you might be a simp but don't worry them days will soon be over i am dom knight this is night talks I'm gonna be doing these styles of burning questions for a while. I have a great time doing these. Make sure you like the video, subscribe for more content. And guys, I will be back on Wednesday with the reaction and I'll put the socials right there. Peace. That's ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the game. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my posts to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah.